I credit Khan's algorithm for getting me multiple big tech job offers. In 2022, I wanted to finally try my hand at working for a major tech company, so I set up a bunch of interviews. One thing I came to realize is that at nearly every single company on site that I had, I was asked a problem that could be solved with Khan's algorithm. And these interviews always ended up being my best performance, leading me to an offer. In this video, I'm gonna share one of the lessons from my new course, Mastering Topological Sort Graph Problems, which is now available on algoswithmichael.com. So what is Khan's algorithm? Khan's algorithm is a breadth first search based algorithm that allows you to perform a topological sort of directed acyclic graphs. The goal of any topological sort problem is to order the vertices of the graph. In order for Khan's algorithm to be able to do this, there is some pre-processing of the data that must occur. This pre-processing involves counting the number of dependencies that each node has, and this is called an in-degree. This term is very important and you're gonna hear it a lot in this course because it's vital to Khan's algorithm. An in-degree is the number of edges coming into a vertex in a directed graph, or in really simple terms, it is the number of arrows pointing to a node. So for example, this node has two arrows pointing to it, that means it has an in degree of two. This node has one arrow pointing to it, that means it has an in degree of one. This node has no arrows pointing to it, that means it has an in degree of zero. Now, why is this important? How does getting the number of in degrees for each node in a directed graph help us perform a topological sort? What these in degree counts tell us is how many dependencies a node has on any other nodes in the graph. If a node has an in degree of zero, that means it is not dependent on any other nodes in the graph. A node that is not dependent on any other nodes can immediately be considered as complete or done. It can be added to our topological ordering. Using these in degree counts, we can continuously process nodes with in degree counts of zero. I realize that may sound confusing, so let's look at this example and use Khan's algorithm to perform a topological sort. First, we need to calculate all of the in degrees for each node in the graph. Starting with node zero, it does not depend on any other nodes. No arrows are pointing to node zero, so it has an in degree of zero. Now node one, it is dependent on node zero. It has one arrow pointing to it, so it has an in degree of one. Node two is dependent on node one. It has one arrow pointing to it, so it has an in degree of one. Node three is dependent on node one and node two. It has two arrows pointing to it, so it has an in degree of two. Node four is dependent on node zero. It has one arrow pointing to it, so it has an in degree of one. Finally, node five, it is not dependent on any other nodes. There are no arrows pointing to it, so it has an in degree of zero. Now that we have all the in degrees, we can immediately start processing any nodes with in degrees of zero. Because remember, if a node has an in degree of zero, that means it is not dependent on any other nodes in the graph. In order to process these nodes, we're gonna use a queue data structure. So going from left to right, we will process node zero and node five since these nodes have in degrees of zero. When a node is removed from the queue to be processed, then it can immediately be added to the topological ordering. Node zero is removed from the queue and added to the topological ordering, then we need to see which nodes depend on node zero. Node one depends on node zero, so we can decrease the in degree count of node one down to zero. Since node one's in degree count is zero, we add node one to the queue to eventually be processed. Another node dependent on node zero is node four. So we decrease the in degree count of node four to zero. And now node four is added to the queue as well. Next, node five is removed from the queue and added to the topological ordering. There are no nodes that depend on node five, so we just move on. Node one is removed from the queue and added to the ordering. Node two depends on node one. So we decrease node two's in degree count to zero. And then node two is added to the queue since it now has an in degree count of zero. Node three also depends on node one. So we decrease node three's in degree count to one. 
Node 3's in degree count is not zero, so we can't add it to the queue yet. Node 4 is removed from the queue and added to the ordering. No nodes depend on node 4, so we just move on. Node 2 is removed from the queue and added to the topological ordering. Node 3 depends on node 2, so we decrease its in degree count to zero, and now we can add node 3 to the queue. Finally, we remove 3 from the queue and add it to the order, and we're done. We have successfully calculated the topological order of this graph using Khan's algorithm. One thing I want you to notice with Khan's algorithm is after the topological ordering is fully complete, all of the in degree counts are now zero. If we stopped processing nodes, but the in degree counts were not all zero, then that would mean there is a cycle in the graph. Let's look at one more example. We have three nodes and the in degree counts of these nodes would be the following. Node zero has an in degree count of zero, node one has an in degree count of one, and node two has an in degree count of one. Node zero gets added to our queue since it's the only node that has an in degree count of zero. Node zero is removed from our queue and zero is added to the topological ordering. No nodes depend on node zero, so we move on, but our queue is now empty. There are no other nodes to process. And notice that our in degree counts at node one and node two are not zero. This means that these nodes must be part of a cycle. And obviously they are looking at the graph. This is really important to understand in Khan's algorithm and will come up in several of the problems we go over in this course. So just to summarize, if our queue ever becomes empty, but the in degree counts of all of our nodes are not zero, that means that there must be at least one cycle in the graph. At a high level, here are the steps to Khan's algorithm. First, we calculate the in degree counts of all the nodes in the directed graph. Then we add all the nodes with an in degree count of zero inside of the queue. We continuously process nodes in the queue any dependent nodes to the node being processed has their in degree count decreased. If the in degree count goes down to zero, that node is added to the queue. Once our queue is empty, and assuming we are working with a directed graph that contains no cycles, we will have the topological ordering of all the vertices, and that's it. Khan's algorithm is critical to learn for mastering a subset of graph interview problems. In every big tech interview I have ever done, I have been asked at least one question that can be solved with this algorithm. If you want to master this topic, head over to algoswithmichael.com where I have a full course dedicated to this. Specifically for my YouTube audience, you can use the code ALGOHELP for a discount on the platform. I have other courses as well for mastering sliding window problems, binary search problems, and top K element problems. So you can gain access to all of these courses at once. I hope this video was helpful for you and have a great rest of your day.